Hi everyone and welcome to Password State Video Tutorials. In this video I'll run you through the Propagate Permissions model. By default, permissions are applied at a password list level. As of build 7476, you can now use our new Propagate Permissions model to apply access to your users at the top level of your folder structure. These permissions will filter down to all nested folders and password lists. The first thing you'll need to confirm to allow you to use this new propagating permissions model is to ensure you have two settings configured under administration, system settings, miscellaneous. If you scroll right down to the bottom, you'll need to um, ensure that allow permissions on folders to be managed manually and also enable propagate permissions downwards are both set to yes. And if you click save to that, we can then go back into your navigation tree and I'll create a test folder. So the example one I'll give you is creating a new folder and allowing it to propagate permissions down. So I'll add a new folder in the root of my passwords home and I'll call this propagate permissions test. You need to ensure that you select manage permissions manually and also propagate permissions downwards and click save. That will now create our new folder and you can see there's a difference in the icon uh, as opposed to a normal folder where this one has a brown uh, triangle in the bottom right hand corner. That, that's uh, indicating that it's indeed propagating permissions. If we then go to folder properties and select view permissions, we can now see that I myself have admin rights to this folder and anything nested beneath it. But if we want to grant new permissions to our Windows, secure Windows team and click Save, now what will happen is any new folder or password list that we create underneath this Propagate Permissions Test folder or move into this folder structure will automatically inherit those password list permissions. If you have an existing folder structure already with some password lists in it, you can also convert this to the Propagate Permissions model. In my example here, I've got the Windows Server team with four different password lists underneath it. It's not currently propagating, but I'll just have a quick look to show you the permissions that are set on these password lists. So this one has Aiden, Alana and Lee. Application Logins has Aiden, uh, sorry, Alana, Lee and the, the whole service center. And Remote Session Credentials and Website Logins just simply has Lee Sanford only. So now if we click on this top level folder and select folder properties, select uh, manage permissions manually for this folder and click save, the convert permissions model button will now be available for you. We'll click on that. Uh, it says here to review all your changes. And then also step two is to view, your, view the existing permissions. So what we'll want to do is will delete the service center completely from this whole structure and click OK. And we'll add in permissions here now for the Windows team. And click Save to that. And we then go to step three. And finally, we convert the permissions model. We just want to confirm that this is OK. This is what we want to do. And it will now refresh the page. This folder will now have a little icon on it. And if we have a look at any of the password list embedded beneath this now, you should see that it's got Aiden, Alana, Lee and the Windows team. And they will be the same for all four password lists. And from now on, if we create any new folders or any new password lists underneath this folder, they will also inherit these permissions. And if we move any shared password lists from anywhere outside of here into the Windows Server team, it will also inherit those permissions. There are a few rules you'll need to consider if you're going to use this propagating permissions model. Number one, you can only apply permissions to a top level folder in the root of passwords home. Number two, you can only make changes to permissions on the folder at the top of a tree. Nested password lists and folders will have controls on the permissions pages disabled. Number three, if you, if you drag and drop a password list or a folder containing password lists into another folder structure, with this propagating permissions set up, it will ask you to confirm you wish to make this change as permissions will definitely be changing. Number four, private password lists cannot be nested beneath a folder which is propagating permissions down. 
Number five, the bulk permissions feature cannot be used for any password lists that are inheriting permissions from a top level folder. And number six, when adding or editing a password list, the options to clone permissions from other password lists or templates will be disabled. That's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching.